Cancer. Welcome back to Shacey Tarot. For those of you returning, for those of you brand new, welcome to our channel. I'm anxious to get this party started for you, so let's get going. I'm going to use a crystal tarot for your overall general energy, and I'm going to use a traditional tarot for your energy here as well. And whoever is on your hot mind, I'm going to use the other traditional rider weight as well. Remember, these energies can crisscross over, be vice versa. All of your energy or all of their energy. We are dealing with energies, okay? does it's not gender specific so it can be a family a friend somebody in your future it can be you know an ex it can be somebody you haven't met yet so just keep that in mind whoever's affecting your energy you're all going to be different what is going on for cancer sun moon rising and venus that they need to know for their highest good who's coming toward them what are the new messages for cancer please what do they need to know for their highest good for the next 30 to 60 days what are the messages so keep in mind that, you know, I have many repeat clients that tell me things are happening for them right now. Others of you, it's happened a couple months later or a month later or a couple days later. It's awesome. I love hearing that. My readings are resonating for you. So that's fabulous. Remember, personal readings are more geared towards your actual energy because I calculate your moon rising Venus signs. This is a general reading, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. You can definitely check your moon, rising, and Venus placements as well in the playlist if you know what they are. Let's get started. For Cancer, get in the Healing Stone Bracelet giveaway if you wish to do so. All that information is in the description box. I'm not going to get into it. They're handmade by myself, and it's free. It's just our way of saying thank you, my girls and I, for you know, uh, supporting our channel so much. We really appreciate the donations. And all you got to do is hit that like button, subscribe, notification bell, and help support our channel for free. And we truly appreciate it. And I love reading for you all. So thank you so much. We're starting with the Hero font. Wow, commitment, marriage. It could be a Taurus. This is somebody that's very, very traditional here. Let's see what's going on. Wow, way to start your reading. <laughs> Leave me comments. What's going on for Cancer at the Hierophant, please? So we're going to focus on December, but in the extended, which I always continue down below in the description box as well as the comment section, uh, I will continue and check into January 2021. We're going to do a sneak peek, and we're going to dig a lot deeper. Do pick a card with the Romance Angels and the Moonology this time. Justice. OMG, what is going on with you, Cancer? You could be dealing with a marriage or a commitment in the justice or legal system, going through a legal separation, divorce, something could be going on here. This can be just be fairness within a long-term commitment here. You want fairness. Fairness is coming. Uh, it can be the outcome will go in your favor in a legal or justice case involving a marriage or a Taurus. Wow, what the heck? You start with two major uh, uh, um, arcanas coming right out the gate. Mm, okay, somebody's trying to hold on to their money, their coins, perhaps waiting for the outcome of a court case here. This is what I'm getting. Okay, some legal issues are going on. Somebody's trying to hold on to their money, probably going to court or to battle over it from a marriage or a commitment. Or again, it's a Taurus, Libra, Virgo, or Capricorn you're dealing with. The star, are you kidding me? Three major arcanas. This is about uh, hopes, wishes, and dreams coming true. It's about moving towards your destiny, keeping the hope and faith that you're gonna be able to hold on to your money or your possessions here um, in a legal case is definitely what I'm getting here. But this is also a period of healing, positive reflection, realizing um, after going through this battle uh, financially here, both emotionally, financially, and spiritually, that you will heal from it and you will head towards your destiny after this is over with. Um, if this isn't you, it could be definitely somebody you're dealing with. Again, I've got Taurus, Libra, Capricorn, Virgo, and Aquarius here. But this is about making your wishes, hopes, and dreams coming true. But first, you have to deal with these issues, you or your person, before you can get to that. Yeah, it's about taking the action. Here's Leo Sagittarius Aries. Somebody's ready and wants to take the action. Um, this is somebody who's a leader type of person. They don't back down. This is somebody who's really fired up, feisty, ready to go. I'm going after what I want. This is somebody going after their star, their dreams, their hopes, their wishes. Awesome, beautiful. But it's not without going through some kind of a court battle or some kind of a justice or legal system here to get there to hold on, I feel, to uh, property, money, financial, things that 
somebody is really holding on to here. They're fighting for it. They're standing up for it. They're taking the lead on it. They're not going to back down whoever this is. Okay. And it's about moving toward their destiny, but they're going to fight for what they want. Okay. This is what I'm getting. Again, it can just be a Taurus wanting balance with you and holding on to you as well. If you're dealing with a Taurus or a Libra, again, Aquarius, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Ooh, the plot thickens. What's going on for Cancer? Leave the comments down below. Let me know what's going on with you. What is going on for Cancer? I'd love to see you on our Facebook page as well. If you wish to check that out, I leave positive quotes on there as well as Instagram. I'm mostly on Facebook. What's going on, please, for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What do they need to know for their highest good? Who's coming towards them? What are the messages for December 2020? So even though I'm doing this for December, it doesn't mean it's playing out right now. Just remember that, you know, anytime you hear this message is when you're meant to hear this message. You've got the Knight of Wands. Yeah, I'm taking the action. I'm not backing down. I'm going after what I want. I'm going after my wishes, my hopes, my dreams, my destiny, and I'll do whatever I have to do to get there. Somebody's taking the lead and taking the action on going forward. Wow, nice, very nice. You or them, somebody you're dealing with perhaps, or you. I'm not seeing your energy here right now, but any of us can take on. You might have a lot of fire in your chart and you're getting fired up and going after what you want. That's awesome, Knight of Wands. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Mm hmm. Four of Wands. Wow. Somebody got the hots for you. <laughs> this could be going after a marriage, going after commitment, going after my freedom. This is also about celebration. The 1111 card can also indicate twin flame. Somebody may feel that you are their destiny here and wanting to, you know, come towards you, celebrate, see you. Um, they're holding on to you, you to them possibly here. I get a feeling this is your person. But it definitely could be you. Maybe you're getting out of a commitment here or you're holding on to um, your money here in a court case. This could be all you. You know, you're, you're trying to hold on to what you feel belongs to you. You're fighting for it. Okay, that's way too many cards. Let's clarify this 11-11 card. Four of Wands. Why is it here? There's a lot of fire energy. Somebody's fired up, gung-ho, taking the lead, ready to go for what they want. Mm-mm-mm. Hello, new love. Beautiful. The cup is overflowing. This is a blessing from the universe. Somebody's taking action. They're going after their new beginning with a lot of hot damn fire. Let me tell you what. This is, I'm going after my hopes, my dreams, my wishes. Absolutely. This is amazing. This is really good. This is the most action I have seen. Yes. Fantastic. Going after my dreams, after my destiny, after new love here. I'm ready. Somebody's ready. Or if they're not, they're going to be. What are the messages from Cancer's person of interest now or in the future? What is the messages from Cancer's person of interest now or in the future? What are their intentions towards Cancer? What are the messages towards Cancer that they need to hear for their highest good from their person of interest now or in the near future? How do they feel about cancer? What are their intentions towards cancer? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What are the messages that they need to hear for their highest good? What do they need to know? Too many cards. One or two of those fell out way too quick. <laughs> I know when it's right. I can feel it. What's going on from cancer's person of interest now or in the future? Who's coming towards them? Wow, well, see, but that felt right. It did. Wow, we have justice again and the king of wands wow are you kidding me we've got the king of wands twice justice twice already this is amazing yeah i'm taking action i'm going after what i want i'm leaving the past behind i'm going to take what's mine i'm moving towards my destiny towards new love and i'm ready to take the action i'm ready to take the lead and i'm not going to look back at the past this is somebody who's done with the past they're letting go Beautiful. This could involve relocation for some of you, but this is about balance. This is about destiny. This is about your wishes, hopes, and dreams coming true. About looking at your reflection and going after what you want and having a realization. You've been through hell and back, and now I'm going after this new beginning. Somebody really wants that cup. I feel that this is you having brand new beginning here, and it's going to be beautiful. That's what I'm getting. Uh, it's somebody's willing to fight for this new beginning. Yes, that's awesome. Let's get the mutual energy. So this is our exclusive Shacy Prism Tarot. For those of you that don't know, I get the mutual energies. What is going on? These are also available in our um, on our website, shacy.com. What is going on, please, for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What are the mutual energies? 
how are Cancer and their person now or in the future feeling about each other mutually? What are the messages that Cancer needs to hear for their highest good? Whoops, I'm not very good at shuffling today, I have to tell you. What is going on for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? I usually do fine for shuffling, but I got butterfingers today. I think I'm just, you know what it is? I know exactly what it is. There's all this fire energy and I'm feeling it. I'm drawing it in. It's amazing how I'm like a sponge. I can feel everything and I'm, I'm drawing that in. I feel the excitement coming from this person, whether that's you or them. It can be both of you. Got the King of Wands here twice. Maybe you're both taking action, both ready for justice and fairness, okay? This can be between the two of you. Uh, maybe you're um, getting away from a king of wands. They're getting away from you and you're going towards new love. Or this is somebody that is coming after you, Cancer. Ooh, let's find out <laughs> for Cancer. What are the mutual energies between Cancer and their person of interest? <sighs> Multitasking. I've got so many things to do. I'm fired up. This is somebody who's fired up. I'm doing all these things. You know, I can feel that energy. Remember I said, like, I'm just like... I can feel it. Somebody is really on fire here trying to do so many things. It's like I'm trying to hold on what I want. It can be they've been in a, a battle, which they were. We've got the Six of Swords, but they're going to be moving on. You or them. Um, I feel like somebody's moving towards you. They're ready to offer you their love, their cup, and they've been waiting. Um, and they're willing to fight for it. You've been holding on to them. They've been holding on to you. Or this is you going after a new future and getting away from past drama here. Okay, because this is about I'm done feeling lonely. I'm done feeling unfulfilled. I'm going for my wish fulfillment here. I'm going for my person, the star card, wishes, hopes, dreams coming true. I'm inspired about the future. I'm ready to take the action. I know there's more out there. Awesome. Yeah. Wow. So there were challenges. There's people that were in your way, yours and your love interests way here. Now we're in again. This could be somebody you haven't met. We've got brand new beginning here. It's about getting past the chaos, restoring balance here, holding on to what you feel belongs to you and fighting for it, standing up for yourself and going forward here with great passion and intent here. I'm taking the lead. I'm going to go after what I feel is mine and I'm not going to look back on the past. I'm not going there. I'm going forward. That's what I'm getting. Beautiful. Okay, let's get a love compass message, please, for December 2020. What are the messages? <laughs> quality time awesome so maybe somebody wants to spend some quality time more quality time is needed with this person put forth extra energy and effort into this relationship somebody is they're putting the energy and I, I can feel it it's so tense and make time for dates and fun take the initiative and try surprising them with a romantic gesture this may pertain to spending more time quality with family or friends this is interesting because what I'm seeing here is somebody's ready to take the action, possibly reunite with you, or you're going to meet them at a celebration, or they feel like you're their twin flame. They want to offer their love. They're excited. They're passionate. They're driven towards you. They want to spend quality time with you. I'm seeing here. They have a lot of love for you. I feel like they're almost, I can get the feeling that somebody's bursting at the seams. And again, this can be somebody you haven't even met yet. They, or they could be watching you. Could be a fire sign. Could be an earth sign. They could have earth fire and um, air in their chart here. They want to spend quality time with you, okay? They may have had others and you interfering in this relationship and meanwhile you're both missing each other and they want to come towards you. And if you're at a distance, they may even possibly want to relocate towards you with that six of swords there. But it's also just a period of getting past the challenges, getting past the drama and being ready to start brand new. This is, you know, I have this realization that there is a, I've got a lot of love for somebody. This is, I've got, I'm ready to offer this up. That's what I'm getting. I'm ready to take the action and offer up my cup here. Okay, I want to go ahead and get a psychic tarot. And we're going to head over to the extended after that. Like I said, we're going to do a pick a card. But I'm also going to pull the vintage deck. And look who's on top here of the vintage deck. So this is from the 1970s. We've got the Knight of Wands again. So absolutely, you know, there's a lot of passion here is what I'm getting between you and somebody else. They're very anxious to come towards you, whether you know this person or not. Like I said, you could have a really hot person coming in towards you in the future here where somebody's been keeping an eye on you and they're just like, wow, I like her. I got to take her out. But first, I got to get through this, you know. Um, 
just somebody's been eyeing you up here and somebody could again you could already know we're gonna find out we're gonna dig we are so gonna dig what are the messages for cancer sun moon rising and venus for december what are the messages i'm also going to pull the tarot of sexual magic and get the divine feminine messages and the divine masculine recognition and reward wow this is somebody fired up they're getting attention here for going after what they want could be you could be somebody else coming towards you this is i'm going after what i want I'm taking the leadership. They're getting a ton of attention or will be in the near future for going after what they want. Mm -mm, that is beautiful. Yeah, moving forward successfully. So whatever's happening here in a justice or legal system or whatever needs to be fair, whether it involves something financial, property, assets, whatever it is, this is going to be fair. It will be a just and fair decision here and will allow somebody their freedom. Okay disruption so there's been disruption and again it can be challenges this can be other people in your business that are interfering that is disrupting it can be legal justice challenges as well as family friends children whatever the case may be uh, is causing these challenges but you know what justice card here twice the ace of cups this is i'm taking the lead and i'm going for it on both sides and this is awesome because this is the action we've been waiting for this is somebody that has that pilot lit not only lit but their butt is literally on fire and it's like i'm moving forward look at me look at me look at me i'm going for it i'm gonna i'm gonna go for it this is what i'm getting so i do want to get one divine masculine one divine feminine and then we will pull more for january 2021 we'll peak at january I'll leave this next one for um, the extended. I abs, ooh, I'm absolutely obsessed with you. Somebody is obsessed with you. They want you. You know I want you. <laughs> Somebody wants you. That's what I'm getting. Mm -hmm. It's all over. Somebody's after your butt. That's what I'm getting. Wow. That's what the Divine Masculine wants you to know. Let's get one Divine Feminine. And I'll get the Tarot Sexual Magic in the extended as well as I'm going to pull some of the uh, Flaming Roses confessions as well. See what the confession messages are. As, and of course the intimate messages. What are the messages for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Let's put that obsession one up here. Just be careful they're not too obsessed. I told you I felt a lot of fire. Somebody's excited about you. Mm-hmm. They are. What is going on for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What are the messages for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What are the messages for December? Oh, my goodness. We've got, okay, they're just flying out. Okay, I'll have to take that one and extend it as well because i got to leave time to do the other readings. I refuse to chase you again. However, I'm also afraid you'll never come on your own, and I don't want to be alone. So this is interesting because it's like the masculine is obsessed and fired up. They're taking the action. This may have taken a while. And the feminine is saying, I refuse to chase you again. This is somebody that perhaps maybe you've already chased this person and you're like, forget it. This is never going to change. Nothing's ever going to happen. You're giving up. I'm lonely. I'm impatient. I'm unfulfilled here. I'm not getting what I want. You may be considering moving on. Um, and meanwhile, you know, here they are, they're completely obsessed with you and they're ready to take the action. That could be for some of you. Uh, and you're like, I don't want to, I don't want to know if I want to take this chance because I don't want to be alone again because like you didn't respond before or I didn't hear from you or whatever the case may be. But meanwhile, this person was going through hell, I feel here. You or them, remember, it could be vice versa. And this is about healing. And this is about having to get through because don't forget, like I feel somebody's been definitely holding back with that four of pentacles. Can be they were holding on to their property, their finances, um, whatever. They've been going through some legal issues and maybe they didn't want to share that with you. And you're like, I'm not chasing you again. I'm done with you. And then here they come. They're like, woohoo, here I am. I'm obsessed with you and I'm coming after your butt. So just beware. We're going to find out if they are coming after your butt. <laughs> We are going to dig, Cancer. I thank you so much for supporting our channel. And don't forget, as my girl said, to smash that like button. Hit the subscribe. It's free. Hit the notification bell. That way you can get future readings. I absolutely love reading for all of you. And the more you like and subscribe and, and all that, well, it definitely helps the channel to grow and others hear these messages. And it's a fantastic way to support our channel for free. 
So thank you. For those of you leaving me now, I will see you next time. For those of you meeting me on the continuation, let's find out if they're after your butt. Let's find out where we're going with this for January 2021. We're going to get some advice and guidance messages. We're going to find out how they feel about you, etc. So I will meet you there. So for those of you seeing me next time, I'll see you in a few days. For those of you meeting me on the continuation, I will be right there. Namaste.